Salutations, queens and kings. Welcome, Welcome back. back to QKJJ. Mm-hmm. We're doing another review of P Valley. Season 1, episode 7. Final call for alcohol. Last call for alcohol, but that's okay. Last call. <laughs> yes. Last call. Final. For, uh, Last. We wrapping everything up in this episode. I feel like a lot of things came to a head in this episode. It was okay. so much going on. Yes. And uh, we're going to jump right into it. Uh-huh. As we told you before, we were invited to the advanced screening of episode 7. Mm-hmm. So we're actually recording this video several days ahead of the actual um, premiere of the video, I mean, of the episode 7. Yes. So, we're going to make sure that we post this video as soon as the um, premiere um, posts at midnight, I believe. Mm-hmm. And then as well, um, we wanted to also tell you that after the advanced screening, we actually participated in a panel with the with the writer, Katori Hall. Nico Anon was there, who plays Uncle Clifford. Mm-hmm. And um, Jay Alphonse, Alphonse Nicholson was there as well. And he plays Little Murder. And there was other writers there and other um, people who contributed to this amazing people piece of work. And um, it was an honor to be a part of that and actually sit there and watch them discuss the panel and get some behind the scenes information. And uh, it was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. So let's jump right into this episode. Absolutely. So the beginning of the episode, we see a little clip of what Autumn's life looked like prior to her contributing, like turning herself into this new, you know, stripper and, you know, turning, turning to this new lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And she is with a what? No, I was about to say she was still dancing. Yeah, she you was know. still yeah, she was still dancing. That was the crazy part because mm-hmm. it seemed like she was still a stripper. Like you thought that's what it was, but it turns out it was like a little clip from before she's dancing with her husband, allegedly. That's what it looked like. Right. Her and you saw her and her husband, you know, sitting there. Well, her you heard a baby crying and mm-hmm. then she her husband went to go check on the baby. Mm-hmm. And then um she's standing in the doorway like looking at them, just um look, just smiling at them and stuff. And then that's pretty much where she wakes up and then she's in her reality where she's in this apartment with the windows covered mm-hmm. and um, push back the windows. Right. Just totally rip those off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Complete switch. Complete switch. Oh, complete yeah. Complete switch. Yes. And it looks like she's, uh, she's, you know, she's leaving out. She's cleaning up too as well mm-hmm. from, you know, from the scene that was provided. Yeah. But moving on. Yeah, so next scene, we actually see the Kyle family meeting with the mayor of Chuckalisa Uh-oh. and his nephew. Yeah, yeah. And they are sitting there discussing, like, the terms and everything. And, and um, the Andre, Andre yes. is actually letting the Kyle family know, like, we got the lease set up for you. Right. All you have to do is go ahead and sign. He's trying to get the Kyle family to sign. And the Kyle family is just letting them know this is not what we wanted. Mm-hmm. And since you went ahead and did this, then we're going to make sure that the mayor is not going to be the mayor. But too as late. As soon as this casino. But too <laughs> late. Because who already, who already signed it? Who already signed it? Corbin had already signed Corbin it. Corbin had already signed it out. Corbin was the one family member that still had power. Yes. And he was, that, that was actually what he wanted out of the whole thing he was to be able it. to make that residual, residual, that passive the, yes. wealth. He okay. said legacy. He legacy mentioned money. legacy. That is the golden yes. term right there. Golden, golden. Now the pivotal part is it kind of the 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 wild part was when Corbin went to the pink mm-hmm. in the beginning with Andre to get these negotiations down pat. He used the pink as his investment yes. you know he yes. honestly used it as a levy of investment but we didn't honestly understand it until now yes. when, you know until that scene where we see that he had already went ahead signed it with the mayor which yes actually I told Queen I have a different I have a different thought process of the mayor now because he comes off you know as a chauvinist as, as a chauvinist and he definitely you know poor um oh my gosh his, his assistant eloise. eloise poor eloise mm-hmm. if someone can 
get in contact with with some type of surfer out there that that I, I forgot who she needs to get in contact with. I'm so sorry, I'm losing you it. You talking about like the equal employment? Oh yes, the equal oh, employment. Right. <laughs> EEOC. I think it's past it. She needs that's to get in contact it. with the EEOC because that's just rude, just the that's way that past. he treats her. But either way, um, the way that he talked about that whole deal being set up when you when when you're in that position, yes. You do have the people that are there mm -hmm. um, that are pushing you into that position and being there. Um, and, and like a lot of people may not know where we are now. And I'm actually happy for this scene because when I, I, I sat back and I thought about it, mm -hmm. you know, we're in a moment now. And I, yes. I don't mean to get too political, but, you know, it, it is going to be our duty and our job to vote. Yeah. Now, if you feel as though personally that on the larger scale aspect that you don't have any power, that's on you. But where you are locally in your community. Like, yeah. like that, like as a mayor, mayor yeah. you have control over oversight. that, yes. and you have oversight. Yes. So I find that You're as gonna a be held responsible for certain things. That's beautiful. Main, that's the main thing that um beautiful. He was complaining to Andre about just telling him like yes. you've made a, even though you think this is a great move, exactly. You've made moves that now I'm gonna have to be accountable exactly. for, it. and that's what he was really upset with um with Andre about. And exactly. they kind of had this moment where they're like standing face to face, very heated. And right. um, that's when Eloise came in and was like, "Hey, I need to let you know that the ribbon cutting ceremony has been has been postponed." Mm -hmm. And she was, he was like, "No, no, no! Like, what's going on?" And she turned on the news. Turns out, Uncle Clifford has robbed people up as well as um, Sister Bottle Patrice. Bottle on Sister Patrice. Yes. Sister Patrice again. Pa isn't she hey. pastor at this point? Hey, she's pastor. Doing her own because she was now I asked last time where she gonna get the con con conjugation I guess she was able to also get her conjugation some of the folks that were there yes. and like Queen said when you have um, a uh, um, a planning or, or, or yes. some some type of um, whatever is happening within your community yes. and your tax dollars are going towards it y'all better stay, stand up and say and, something yes. and make and your you can, voices you can, heard and you can vote you can Absolutely. vote for it and that's, exa that's exactly what they were saying they were petitioning yep. the um they were trying to get, get everyone casino out of yes here. they were saying we're going to start a petition to get mm -hmm. this casino out of here mm -hmm. and they were interrupting the ribbon cutting cutting ceremony for his new park the mayor ruffins park you now know, it was important though important note he did bring up some statistics apparently within that city yes. apparently a lot of the students that are there they don't actually graduate, um, graduate high school yes. and some of them don't even make it outside yes. of the city not only just the city the actual state limits yes. but that's and also yes another thing that i want to point out is so much so many details in this and we're trying to like move it along yes. there's so yes. many details yes. in each scene it's hard not to talk about Sorry. each thing i try and just you know, da, 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 yes. but there's so much we can miss. But now we actually saw how close the their Andre's godfather is to him, and his godfather pretty much let everyone know, like I paid for your Morehouse tuition well, when your mom and dad couldn't oof. afford it. I was the one that stepped up and did that. So oof. that showed how close their relationship was. Absolutely. But after this situation mm -hmm. and um, oh, them arriving at the park and seeing how damaged the park was, oh he, yeah, he it was. Just, was he, he was just, over yeah. it. He was down with them. Then we get a nice little wake wake up call for Andre too as well. Yes. Move and on to that next scene, boy. Yes, exactly. Ooh. And so the next scene we see is Uncle Clifford arriving back to his house. Yeah. yeah. And Corbin is sitting on the porch. Yeah. You can tell that Corbin had gotten into an altercation with maybe a corner of a wall. <laughs> he paid for that or... investment. He paid for that one. Yes. It seemed <laughs> like his brothers had jumped him. He looked yeah. horrible. His eye was swollen. It looked really, really bad. His mm. knuckles were all bloody. And um, Uncle Clifford came up to him and was just asking him, like, the, like you were fighting with your brothers. Right. And um, just letting Uncle Clifford know, like, you're... And Corbin was letting Uncle Clifford know, like, why are you trying to protest the um, the casino? Right. And Uncle Clifford was like, I'm trying to get some of the least money like you got. I want to keep the pink here. Exactly. I need some type of deal. They can't just run me over. And that's when um, Corbin was like, well, white people ain't going to pay for shit that they can get for free. Which is crazy because the pink beforehand was a juke joint, and I'm pretty sure that that's where everybody wanted to go and shake a little tail feather, but that's neither. After, I digress. After Corbin said that, hey. that's when um, Uncle Clifford pretty much was like, you know what? I can't believe, you know, that's how you feel. Because here I was going to ask, what? 
but here I was going to ask you for a loan and Corbin was like I don't even have money for any of that and that's when Uncle Clifford was like well I'm going to do what I have to do to keep the pink afloat mm. and um, he was like what you never ever need to do again is come back to the pink don't ever step back into the pink mm. and I was like dang like you've been exiled Corbin where he gonna go he'll be alright He's had, he's had time before. It seemed like they've had that encounter before because Uncle Clifford was sitting there telling him, like, the last time you and your uh, brothers fought like this was over a woman. Mm. A three a three titted lady. And he said, and Uncle Clifford said, and that, and that girl had a titty for each one of y'all. <laughs> and y'all still fought him. <laughs> I just can't with the writing. It's Yo, like, hilarious. It's I love so it. hard. It's so yes. hard not to touch on every little single thing in each scene. I just love it. Yes. Now, Come horrible news though, a little, a, a little, a little bit later too, because again, Corbin is pretty much banned, and mm-hmm. now we have to think about the after effect, how that tra- uh, translate into everyone that's in that small city yes. and those local areas that surround too that comes. Exactly. So the next thing we see is Lil Murder. He's performing on stage, mm-hmm. you know, just practicing pretty much, yeah. and. His um, I, who, who do we say he was? His manager, his manager, and like the DJ. Yes, his manager, DJ Never Scared in Mississippi, yep. are watching him, yep. and they're pretty much talking about like how he doesn't have like that passion. And Mississippi calls and pulls into the side is like you have stage fright. Yeah, and he's like, no, I don't. I don't have no stage fright. And she's like, look, it's gonna be like three hundred people. He's like three hundred people. Yeah, and she's like, I'm nearly, nearly need you to get it together. Yeah, <laughs> I need you to get yeah. it together. And so finally she tells him like this is what we're gonna do. She makes him strip naked and she say you gonna rap your song. You gonna rap it hard, mm-hmm. like you know, you can need to tell those people what it's about because it's gonna be just like when I'm out on the stage, I'm naked and I still have to sit there and perform. So right. you have to do the same thing. Right. And he definitely killed it. He definitely killed it with the way they portrayed him, <laughs> like dancing on the table and stuff when he like did the squat and everything. I was make him- Make I was cracking up laughing. Completely, completely vulnerable. That that's that's crazy. Yes, that was big. Hey. <laughs> you hey. gotta do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. And then um, the next scene we see. Hey, let's let's start too because people were talking about within the mess. Who are or who whomever is gonna find so another job? I think Mississippi found hers. Okay, yes. motivational speaking. Yes. That's her. Mississippi yes. she don't, motivational speaking. If she don't pop off from the viral video or being, you know, yes. the top person at another place. Yes. We found it. Motivational speaking. Because speak. Mississippi was like, look, this is what we're doing. Yeah. And she said, you need to get it together. And the way Mississippi was sitting there bobbing and weaving, I was like. Yeah. That stage fright is something, but once you get past it and someone and encourages you and, and mm-hmm. actually puts you into that, yes, it's exactly nothing. where it is, it's nothing. And mm-hmm. then, like she said, I do this every night. I'm, I'm naked, all right? I have Butterball. To right. So, you know, hey. 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 So, hey. the next scene that we end up seeing is um, the sheriff coming, pulling up to the pink, and that's when uh, Uncle Clifford is like, what the heck is it now? Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much where... Uh, the sheriff hands Uncle Clifford a note just letting him know that there has the mayor there's been unfortunate circumstances and the mayor mm-hmm. has Came decided down. right decided that he's going to put an ordinance forth about um, not having any titties out tonight which is crazy because where else y'all and if see they see titties? exactly and if they see any there then that's going to expedite them already then they're already going to auction tomorrow. They're already going to auction Shut tomorrow. Shut it down, like really. She and uh, Uncle Clifford was just like, whatever, you know, do, do whatever, you know, do whatever you gotta do because just, just know that I'm ready for it and I will fight, you know. And I've been, I've been through it. I'm, I'm gonna fight for it. I'm not gonna say exactly what was. Said. Yeah, I mean, we get the overall. Like, yeah, we get the overall. If and the saw, sheriff. Which the crazy thing is, the sheriff was already. I mean. That's why we told you to go ahead and vote because you can control some local yes. stuff that happens. Mm-hmm. You're like, I thought you wanted some money, you know that mm-hmm. that local that lo- you know. Go ahead and tax them. That's what yes. I thought was gonna happen, but hey, yes, and they're taking money any other time. Yes, and the old Clifford just storms inside the paint and goes inside his oh, of the office and ends up seeing Mercedes. Oh and Mercedes is pretty much confronting Uncle Clifford like, why were you up there with Patrice Woodbine? Like, mm-hmm. why are we up there? And mm-hmm. he was just like, look, 
we try and get this started okay mm -hmm. we're trying i'm trying to save the pink and we're gonna and just pretty much letting uh, mercedes know about the plan exactly also when when uh when the sheriff pulled off too notice when oh, autumn yes, pulled sorry. up yes notice when autumn Thank pulled you. up please go back that that he saw glove compartment board he had a look that you know when you see somebody that owe you money you like i think that's such and such and so and so that's what that that's what sheriff d said i I, I remember that's seeing that girl that. from that missing poster. I think I know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what she did. I think I know who this is. I can't. And when he saw her, oh man, he called that number, and that's he did. When he called the number. I believe he did not call the number. That's that's what set it off because that gentleman did not know where he'd been looking for her. He's been looking for her. No. He's been looking for her, and and so he specifically he, oh he specifically God. spoke to that only sheriff because you know a small yes. town there's always that one sheriff. Yes. <laughs> so that's yes, who he spoke to when he put in good. that police report. Oh, absolutely. Yes, you're good. Because oh, I didn't absolutely. even catch that. I'm over here like, and that's what I told him too. I want to go back through and watch hey. all of the episodes again because I know I missed something. We're gonna keep it pushing. But you know, I was like, we gotta keep it going because yeah. I'm over here like taking notes and trying to watch. You all good. Episodes. No. I got you. So I we're gonna keep it pushing. You. But that one little sheriff, I tell you, every little small town got that one got little sheriff one. who people talk to. Be like, I've been looking for it. Like, well, we're gonna do our best. That, that makes and sense. And you know what his best was? Going up to the pink, and he ended up being at the right place at the right time that when she got out. Makes. He called that number, and that's the reason why that guest showed up. And you always spot that one guest that one that. High ball roller, but anyway, we're gonna That's get into amazing. that a little bit, a little bit later. Cause I'm like, cause I'm like, how, how did, that how did he, how did he know for sure? <laughs> <laughs> I think I know who that is. Either way, Uncle Clifford says, um, Mercedes, can you do me a favor before we close? Uh huh. Can you be my bottom bitch? <laughs> 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 Don't make me close without my bottom bitch. Shout out. He keeps calling her this bottom shout bitch. Out. It's like. Shout out. Shout out. Because. Because. Cause, like that comes with a lot of responsibility. And the largest locker. So. It, it comes with a, a lot of responsibility. And she and said. No. When I leave. I leave. He said. I don't know what that She finger. said okay. <laughs> finger. And she doing her last dance. She agreed to it. That finger. Yes. I don't I mean, know. That's peace. I don't know. That's peace. Yeah, peace. You bring that he peace said up. it's going to be peace, but it'll yeah. turn into this. Ha. It'll turn to war, but it will be peace. He's funny. <laughs> so He's funny, I will. Yeah. So I. So the next thing uh, we see is Mercedes like she's going into the back, letting everybody know, like, I'm going to do my last dance. Can yeah. you yeah, make yeah. sure? Um, why don't I get this girl's name? The lady that's making the flaws. The queen's right. making the flaws. Hey, shout out. I'm so sorry. Shout but out shout to the soloist. Me. Us as sewists, like how can I not hey. recognize the fellow sewist? She got something together, like within minutes. Everybody's garments, a little rip here, rip there. She going to bag. Mine ooh, is. Ooh. I mm -hmm. will point out, it's not a lot of fabric. Absolutely not. You know, but she that's knows how to different put it back from making a, a gown in one night, right? Hey, but that thread, that, that thread the that's floss. needed to put it back together, boy. And hold that stuff and together. Hold it. Ooh, okay, so Ooh, either way, yes. So um, that's when um, Mercedes goes into the back and she's, yeah. you know, telling, um, she's telling, talking to Autumn. Yeah. And they go and make their last drops and everything and they exchange their money. Mm -hmm. And um, that's where Merce uh, Mer Autumn gives Mercedes her money. And Mercedes yeah. like, this is way too much money. You don't have to give me all this money. And Autumn's like, hey, I am giving you this money because I know you need this money for um, your was it called for your gym and everything? I Absolutely. mean, you need 20 stacks instead of just the 10. Mm -hmm. And she was like, well, I did this amount of work. This is how much money I'm taking. I'm not, because Mercedes, she has, it she, like she has strong she, morals. She, yeah, and she, she, she She's will. like, I'm not going to owe nobody. I don't yeah. want no favor. You know, like we did it even exchange. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing you feel that's me? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I feel her on that. That's a very good principle to keep in your back pocket as well. Yeah. So um, then after that, that's where Mercedes is pretty much like asking her, yeah, I know you're going to leave and everything, mm -hmm. but did you contact Andre to say goodbye to him? You have to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. And Autumn's and Autumn's like, girl, he married and 
Mercedes is like, so I wish I would have said some goodbye to someone before mm -hmm. that I did not say goodbye to. Mm -hmm. So Autumn was like, I called him and everything, and that's when she's like, okay, thinking about it, like maybe I will call him for a last dance. She texted. Yes, exactly. He so, picked up that phone when it rang, ring, ring, ring. He answered back and he met her. We'll think about that a little bit later because that ties you into something funny. very... Because cause you all know... Cause, well, I'm sorry. I, I was just kind of done with... I, and not you, like personally, just at the character because boy, when you left that laptop open, bro, like I was yeah, just... Yeah, I know. You, I have was, a, you have a personal vendetta bro, with Andre because it's like... Left, and then you went to Walgreens or, or CVS. Yes, he said luckily there was a Walgreens was, in the corner. Yeah. That was his line. Did you have a receipt? Still don't know. Still don't know. Still don't know. Will he ever use these condoms? Still don't Still know. Dun dun. No, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so either way, Uncle Clifford and everyone they gather around the stage so they can say their final prayer about their last bang. Make sure everybody blows right. up. Right, right. They make all the money. They get all the players to come out. All the drug dealers with all their money to come out and you know spend, spend, spend. Mm -hmm. And um, that was a very beautiful scene for all of them with their last. It seemed like a little last go around, and you actually got to pan around and pay homage to each girl that was there each girl that you see and yeah. sometimes you go past quickly yeah, diamond. shout out to peanut butter i'm jam yeah. shout out to peanut butter diamond big i think it was big l what was the name diamond and yeah diamond big l yeah i think i, I think you know hold hold the security down got to sit that was the first time i heard walkie talkies Woo. Yeah, yeah she said get your keep your walkie talkies keep on your walkie -talkies. He, was, he was and they you. were looking at yes i got you diamond was like I went, yeah, we're gonna see what happened with each one of them because you can always tell that like there's a deeper relationship that Uncle Clifford has with each person that yeah. they, he's like saved their life or like came through for them sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to dive all that into that and during the ex, uh, during the exclusive premiere, mm -hmm. you know the advanced screen or whatever they went to. That's what Katori Hall was saying. Like we'll get more into everyone's deeper into everyone's Kid, background in yeah. season two. Yeah. So there will be a season two. We did get that little little tip there. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's stick with this joint though. Yeah. After they do their little um, so at, right after they do their prayer, mm -hmm. and there is little murder. He actually takes Uncle Clifford to go see the stars, there you and go. they have their intimate moment there. There you go. Mm -hmm. And stole his car another, too. Okay. Yeah, the the funniest the funniest, Grand Theft Auto. funniest part was that when Uncle Clifford was like <laughs> was like how how you get my car out here <laughs> that was the first thing <laughs> and I was like that's the only thing you're thinking about right now like come yeah, on that Grand Theft Auto how you get some other anyway, car and then put the anyway, light in it yeah it's, hey man look anyway so then we see uh, Mississippi she's coming through the um she's coming into the back. And she's excited, like hyping everybody up. Like, you know, it's our last night. Everybody get excited. Da, da, da. And then mm -hmm. you see she sits down and she gets upset. And everyone's like, what's going on? And you can see that there's like some bruises on her arm. Mm -hmm. And um, the the sewist in the back, got to get her name for next time. She actually is like, don't worry. I'll cover your bruises up for, you know, so you can go out there and perform. Mm -hmm. And that's also where Gidget kind of is like, why doesn't she like leave him already? And that's when Autumn's like, man, you know, you, you have no clue because right when they're about to leave, that's when they're closest to killing you. And that's where Gidget's like, so do you have personal experience with this? And she was like, no, like, <laughs> like not even trying to answer Gidget's question. Mm -hmm. Next scene, we end up seeing Andre. He's sitting at the bar and just talking about how crap of a night that he's been having. But then he ends mm -hmm. up getting a text from Autumn asking mm -hmm. him if he wants to do a last dance. Mm -hmm. And of course, he's excited about it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's what I was going to get into mm -hmm. that, that, that relationship, too, also. That you, we already knew that was there, but. You know that's probably gonna end up being a little something that's uh that's entertained more between Diamond and Mississippi. Yeah, you know, yeah, we, you got, you got we all them. we all see that. You know, they're in the back. They're having a very close close relationship in the back. He's mm -hmm. he had has a few loosening himself up before security, mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, uh, security night, and he you know he still notices that she's getting bruised up, beaten yeah. up, and things like that. She's opening up to him. And mm -hmm. he decides that he's going to go ahead and gift her a necklace. 
Yes, now, a crystal. A crystal. Crystal. Yes. A carnelian kissed a crystal for Ooh. courage. For courage, exactly. Mm -hmm. Now he does mention that he used to be in the military mm -hmm. and how you know in his story too on how he ended up receiving the crystal. Yes. But that very beautiful scene which now I'm I'm starting to understand, you know, how to how to how to you know write certain scenes we all like Queen said. I always love that scene in the movies where the girl like grabs her hair and he yeah. like puts the necklace on her and then yeah. he like puts her hair back down and she's like Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love those scenes in the movie. And this I nice little it. pan too. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, of course, they get intimate. They're about to kiss. That little and intimate then, scene. Boom! <laughs> get just stormed out in the back and ruins them in the middle of kissing. Ruin the whole thing. Oh, and it's fine. And it's fine too as well. I love that that scene. You know that mm -hmm. scene being drawn up yeah. because Diamond actually asked. You know before they got that intimate close, he actually asked where the baby was. So you kind of see yeah. that growing relationship. But past Check that point, baby. absolutely. But past that point, we're starting to get ready for tonight. We're starting yes. to get ready for that show. Yes, the show is coming down, oh, and boy. we see that the pink is busy as ever. Busy, and um, we have a lot of people trying to get in. We yep. see that um, the mysterious guy that was at the end of episode five, I believe it mm. was, that's looking for his wife that went missing ever since the flood. Mm -hmm. He actually is, you know, getting checked in by Diamond, and Diamond finds a knife on him, and Diamond's like, I'm glad that I found this on you, and allows him to go inside. Mm -hmm. Every person before they go in, though, they have to sign the pe the petition. Yes. So, even when Andre showed up, Andre showed up, and he had, he was authorized to go in, but he had to sign the petition first. Ooh, so, that's a little nugget there. A little nugget. Also, the Lil Murder's um, manager and like some this other gentleman, I'm, I'm not can't remember who the other guy was, but either way, him, his manager and someone else is about to get into the club, and mm -hmm. the manager tells him, "Hey, go ahead, go inside. I gotta take this call from the mm -hmm. scout." And the guy and the manager walks off to take the call, and I gotta get his name next time as well. The manager walks off, to take the call, and while, after he's taking the call, he's like standing there messing with his phone. And he sees Uncle Clifford and Lil Murder walking back into the woods. yeah, walking yep. from back in the woods, back in, back into the pink. Yep. The other person that's trying to um, get into the pink as well is mm -hmm. Keyshawn's baby daddy. Yes, Derek. the abuser. Yes, the abuser, abuser, Mississippi's baby daddy. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get into the pink, and. Um, Diamond lets him know you gotta go all the way to the back of the line and wait like everybody else. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. Now, luckily, you know, luckily again, they're gonna go ahead and get that scene wrapped up, but I mm -hmm. do appreciate that we finally get that that transition yes. between the two and kinda hitting that dynamic mm -hmm. of what's about to happen. But like like I said, yeah, I love course. those scenes. Those are beautiful scenes. Yes. Now and it, Yes. And Gidget ends up um confronting Yes Mississippi's baby dad Derek at the bar because he walks in and talk about he wants top shelf this and top shelf that mm -hmm. and um she's pretty much saying like i don't understand um oh oh what i'm gonna do is take mississippi and those babies so they can come live with me and my mom right and he's like who for with you in the trailer park and you and your cracked out mom i don't think so do you know who mississippi is Right. And she was like, well, I don't understand why Mississippi is even still with you. I hope that she leaves you one day. And the whole time I was sitting there cringing because I'm like, you don't say that type of stuff to abusers. Mm -hmm. Because they just take that fuel and just use it on that person. Exactly. But, but either exactly. way. Um, because he's thinking in his head, okay, one day he, she probably going to talk to her. Really going to do it. So, yes. yeah, absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Derek, after he, after Gidget says that, Derek whips this <laughs> 20 out of his freaking shirt like he's about to smack like she's standing right here to him and he's like i don't think and he's like i don't think she gonna do that and like stuffs the 20 down into her shirt and he and just walks away she was he was like so stay in your lane trailer trailer park and then tells the bartender to put it on mississippi's tab his top shelf bottle put it on mississippi's tab Right, but they're gonna put the 20 anyway. <sighs> Either way, now, Autumn ends up. Oh, go ahead. Yes, Autumn and Andre ended up making their way to the back. Yeah, to the back. Things yes. got steamy. All right, in this next scene, we see Autumn and Andre mm -hmm. going into the back. Yeah, they're doing their thing, doing their thing. And uh, you know, we, we see that that second encounter, but he's really gonna remember it. And the only thing that's getting to him, just like that first time. <laughs> Was his wife giving him a ring 
Ring, ring, ring. Mm -hmm. Ring, ring, ring. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. when we say Autumn gave him all of her, yes. that's exactly what she did. Yes. She let him see all of her. And he had to do at the end of the day, at the end of the day the right thing. She ends up picking up the phone for him, mm -hmm. puts his wife on the phone. She says, Baby, where are you? You know what he said? Like a dummy. I'm back at the I'm back at the hotel. I'm back at the place. Oh yeah? Cause I'm here. You not here. Oh, oh, oh. Um, actually at the bar. I'll be right there, baby. I'm at the bar. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, at that point, you know, once he hangs up, you know, Autumn oh understands. Gosh. Looking at him, he understands. All right, you know, this is pretty much it. I get this last little solace of memory, and then we're moving on from there. He mm -hmm. hightails it back to his wife. Yes, hightails it back to his wife. Yes, go ahead. When he hightails it back to his wife. She she confronted him pretty much like yes. where you been, Andre? I called your uh, your godfather. He said you were nowhere to be found. He didn't know right. where you were. So where were you? Who you effing? Interesting too as well. Godfather gonna be real upset when he finds out where he was too as well. And I'm gonna say if y'all remember yes. that. Yes, yes, I, yes. I pay attention to it all. I pay attention to it all. To it all. Yes. Now he did say he did not want to catch him back in that paint. There you go. Now, wife asked where you were. He didn't say anything. He went a little slide the joint. And he was probably still feeling what was going on right before he got there. Yeah. Now, some people say that's one of the benefits of going to the strip club. Make you feel something that you don't get at home. Baby, I am only <laughs> talking about what people say. I'm only talking about what people say. See, fellas, you got to understand the energy. When I, when I said that, I knew what was being projected. And you have to follow up to make sure that you're understood. <laughs> when I said, when I, we got to roll through it. Man. Now, when I say Andre was feeling himself, and he, he like, the, his energy obviously shocked his wife because she didn't know, like, the reaction out of it. So, he was like, baby, take off your clothes. She said, boy, you know, boy, stop. You know, like, <laughs> boy, stop, stop it, Andre. Stop. You know, stop it, right. And then, you know, he actually ended up getting real aggressive to the point where he just started going in. So, he got right up in that wop. So, he got right up in it. <laughs> like, he got, he was thirsty. You feel what I'm saying? He was, he was, he was drinking from the fountain of youth. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> and then she was like, oh, he's serious. Okay. He goes ahead, takes that next little step. We saw that. We, You know, we all saw that scene. But it something got, you know, something made me realize to it. Like, she saw that something was still up. Yeah. Because afterwards, you know, like, man, sloppy, bro. You know what he did? He was like, all right, I'm about to go take a shower. Like, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, really? Just, and, and during the midst of that scene, too, I you just couldn't help but try and think like how is this scene going to be ruined because yeah. it felt like something was going to happen yeah. like there was going to be a message there was going to be an interruption that was going to ruin everything mm -hmm. but i'm curious to see what the mayor's relationship is with the wife because the wife always mentions the godfather yeah always so yeah. it seems like there's some relationship there i don't know but um, also, just like you said, with uh, with that scene as well, with him just leaving out of the room, that seemed like mm -hmm. that was a to-be-continued as well. Because mm -hmm. she looked at him like, wow, you missed me, huh? And he just walked away to go get in the shower. Yeah, yeah. It was weird. But that mm -hmm. next one, too, as well, that we're back at the club. Mm -hmm. We still got some, um, we got some work to do. And we see... Um, Ooh, the, 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 cra the crazy part is we... we, we well, man, boy... Mm -hmm. Our mystery character really starts to show himself, mm -hmm. and the person who picks up on him is no other than Mercedes. All mm -hmm. right, Mercedes is you know she understands the code, the laws of being in the pink. She yes. knows who's the spot out. Yes, and it's unfortunate that those laws end up playing into the. I mean, the the laws kind of played in the wrong hands in a way because yes. that man had his eyes on Autumn, yes. but Mercedes ended up. Bringing her over. Yes, because Mercedes approached him first and was all like, "So how you doing out here?" And put mm -hmm. it and put her arm around him and yeah. everything. And he kind of was like, "Oh, you know, he uh, was like get that, get that yeah, drone out of there, get that drone out of there." You know, that's what that's. Ooh. But he gave her a stack. Give me a stack. Yeah, you know, he gave a little. 
I don't have the stack right here, but but you all, this is the, it's there, it's there. Gave her the stack, and she said, "Oh, he is a baller." Cause mind you, the man had the money on the table, so yes. it wasn't. He yes. already was portraying himself yes. exactly as that character. So Night dressed and everything. Yeah. Same person that Diamond got the knife off of as well. Oh, yes. Remind you of that. Mind you. So Mercedes, like, waves um, autumn over September, October. She's like, come here. Come she here. She said, that's who I got my eyes on. Yes. She making her way through the crowd. And what happened? She, what she looks see? like she saw a ghost. She's just standing there. Mercedes is like, hey, like, go get your go get your stacks. Like, go ahead. So Autumn is just like, okay. She walks him back into the into the back, mm -hmm. and then at this same time you're saying, um, no oh oh oh, a part that we skipped out on. I'm not sure. Ooh. I think this was just before that. Little Murder's um, manager. manager confronts yeah. him Ooh. in the parking lot when Little Murder's like getting ready for uh, the stage. He's the like leaving his car yep. to get his outfit out to go on stage, and his manager's like standing over in the cut and kind of like startles Little Murder. Yep. And he's like, "What you standing over in the in the uh, on the side for?" And he's like, "Well, I saw you over there in the back, coming out of the back the woods, mm -hmm. coming down, coming from down by the river." Yep. With um. Uncle Clifford, right. and he was like, I thought you just said it was a one-time thing, and Old Murder was like, it was just a one-time thing, and this manager pretty much, it seemed like his manager was going to, like, give him, like, 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 just go in on him, like, what he's going, no, it seemed like his manager was going to say something mean, and it went the complete opposite, his manager pretty much was just like, listen, if this is what you're going to do, you know, the heart wants what the heart wants, and mm -hmm. there's nothing that you can do about that, and you have to keep that on the wraps, but also present yourself, present an image so that people, the girls still want to F you and the guys still want to be you. Yeah. You have Get to still, pre yeah, you still have to present that image. But if yeah. you want to be with Uncle Clifford and all that, do that under wraps. So right. that was like a speech that he kind of gave Lil Murder. And Lil Murder was like, you going to give me a whole speech about this right now? And he was like, I'm just trying to let you know that what you're doing is not going to mess up our bag. Right. Simple as that. That's how the game, but know, yes. that's how the industry is. <laughs> but uh, again, that's a a, a really a really nice duality that ends mm -hmm. up happening as Little Murder's getting ready to go, to go on stage. stage. Yeah, actual stage. Exactly. You see, um, you see Autumn Haley is actually um, about to perform. What it seems like she's about to perform in front yeah. of Mister Mystery Character yes. in the back, and boy, she walks him back to that paradise ooh, room. He sits down. He's sitting down in the wicker chair. They both staring at each other. We're gonna uh, act out the last scene. Gonna act out that last scene for y'all, so y'all understand. Yeah. So what happened? So we see. So, so we're in the paradise room, and you see, you know, it's all clouds around us. All mm -hmm. clouds. Just imagine. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, we're just looking at Autumn's face, and she's like this. I thought I shot you. Not well enough. Now where's my stacks, Haley? Boom. And that was the end of the scene. That was the end of the scene. Katori Hall and everyone else. Because that is not all who have contributed. Talk about follow the gun. Yes. That Follow is another gun. thing Katori Hall let us know at the um, advanced screening, the little panel after the advanced screening. She was letting us know to follow the gun. That's the one tip that she gave us. Follow the gun. Follow the gun. Y'all, this is getting so good. I cannot wait for the next um, episode. I cannot wait for the next episode. If we missed anything on um, just going over this episode comment down below keep the conversation going make sure that you follow us on our social media pages as well because we're always posting updates and little you know little things that we're doing we made t-shirts and posted about it what? and some other things that we did what yeah so make sure you follow us on our social media at queen jam for our personal and then at qkjj for our business page all those links are down below yes make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and then share this yeah subscribe <laughs> and share this video with other p valley fans so we can all make sure that we're on season two okay? absolutely we're gonna be back around in season two we're gonna be main on season two we're gonna be something okay? something <laughs> yes so, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Peace.